You may have heard of or even used Tyvek for a ground cloth or footprint, but what about a bivy? This is a 3F UL Gears bivy, and we're gonna take a closer look at it. In case you don't know what a bivy is, it's a lightweight material that you can use for as an emergency shelter. We've had the Escape Bivy for many years now, and we're gonna compare the two of them. The basic features of Bivy is to keep you dry, along with your sleeping bag, and to protect you from the wind. Some Bivvies have extra features, like this one. It has a reflective material on it, so you can actually feel the extra warmth coming in when you're inside of it. So it'll be interesting to see how and what the Tyvek one has. Both bivvies are pretty small. They are very comparable in weight. This is nine ounces and this is seven ounces. The stuff sack is a lightweight ripstop nylon and it is actually pretty hard to get the bivy back into it. Let's take a closer look at the bivy itself. Some Tyvek can be actually pretty stiff, but this is pretty soft to the touch. And it feels a little bit um, almost slippery actually. So it'll be interesting once we get into it. So the basic shape is like a mummy. You have the red rim of the hood section, which actually includes two tie toggles. So you can be able to cinch it down around your head. It's got a zipper going about half the length of the bag itself with a little attachment to the zipper itself. So it's easy to go up and down. The red actually looks like it is also the nylon ripstop stitched in there. There actually isn't too many seams on the bag itself, but let's go throw this in the rooftop tent and hop on in it and see how it looks. We're bringing our Nemo Fote in, which is a much bigger bag, along with our mummy bag. Let's see how they do in size. Let's stretch this out and and see, let me actually go into it without a sleeping bag first. The interesting thing is the inside feels almost like a little bit grippy. Um, a little bit different than on the outside of it. Legs in there. Not as convenient with the half zip. It feels really wide. And then up. But again, this grippy makes it a little bit harder to move around because I feel like I'm sticking to it. I mean, there is plenty of space in here. It's pretty, pretty big for these pull ties. Let's see how that's gonna work. So though, interesting enough there, each side pulls down. It goes pretty, pretty small. Easy to do. I think I could even actually go all the way, close it all the way in. It's cozy, but I don't feel any extra warmth not really coming off of the bag like I do with the Soul Bivy. The longer I'm in here, the warmer I'm starting to feel. So there it is definitely some body heat coming off. Let's see how easy it is to get out. The zipper actually has toggles on both sides, so that's pretty easy to unzip. Let's see about the hood area. How easy that is to expand it back out. Oops. Okay, that was super easy. Unzip. Let's put the mummy bag in it and see how easy that is. Of the thing there. This is just our lightweight 20 degree. Plenty of space inside of the, the white bag because I still have lots of room with the sleeping bag inside of it. Let's get out and try the bigger bag, see how well it fits. The bigger bag is our Nemo Forte, which I absolutely love. Greg wants to try some cowboy camping. I'm not yet sure about that with even having bugs have access to me so easily. Looks like it fits pretty good. The bottom of the Tyvek has a almost square foot box. I have plenty of space. Back, zip it. I actually still have plenty of room with this bag as well. As you can see, it looks like the toe box is pretty big because I can stretch my feet out pretty easily. Let's get out of here because I am hot. I think that there's actually a little bit extra foot space down here. So if you're tall, I'm pretty surprised at actually how big this is because this sleeping bag is not small and this is the mummy style bag. 
so then it fits actually quite well. Let's open this up and see it, the comparison in size. The benefit of this one is that it is bright orange, so if you are in a situation where you need to use it as rescue with people, it would probably be much easier to spot the orange than they would the white. This actually looks smaller, which I was surprised about, especially since it weighs more. Let's slide it on top of the this one and see comparison. Okay, so if we are going to go toe to toe, that's the end. And as you can see down here, it's quite a lot smaller than Tyvek. This is pretty narrow where this one has a lot of give. If we're comparing the two of them, I think the Solo would be more of a survival type bivy. Because if you were out day hiking, this would be a perfect thing to toss in your bag if you needed the extra warmth that's got the red lining. The Tyvek is more geared towards backpacking, something to protect your sleeping bag, especially if you're just camping in shelters. Quality wise, it seems like it's well made. I think this is a good bivy, except for it's not 100% waterproof because the seams are not taped and the zipper is not waterproof. But I think in light rain, it will be okay and it will give your sleeping bag a little extra protection from the elements. We'll have links for both bivvies in the description below. You can check us out at exploretrekadventure.com. Check out this video next and we'll see you next time.